What's going on Royal Reliance and welcome back to a brand new top 5 Battlefront players of the week. Now at number 5 we have the Bone Collector 921 who has submitted a kill compilation using mostly the jump pack and cycle rifle combination to get a lot of insane cycle rifle sniper kills. It's a really great montage and I really recommend checking this out. The link is in the description below if you want to do so. At number 4 we have OZ Gaming and he gets a 6 kill Thermal Imploder feed and also he kills Luke Skywalker in this so it's it's that more impressive. At number 3 we have Darth Clutch and he gets a 10 man kill streak with a 6 man Thermal Imploder and he also does some killing with his bowcaster at the end. But you can see the feed and the stacking of points here is just absolutely insane. I think that's the SE14C he's using. I'm not 100% sure I can't really see past his Twi'lek's head you know it's, it's quite a big head to look past. But there's his jump pack broadcast kill, really good stuff. At number two we have Battlefront 3 gameplays and they actually kill three heroes with Darth Vader to win the round. Now this is really impressive because after he kills Nea Num, he gets attacked by Luke Skywalker and Han Solo at the same time. Now bearing in mind these heroes are low on health but they're not 110% weak, you know, it's not going to just be a one hit kill. He has to really battle against these, deflect and bolts back at the normal rebel soldier. You can see he's killed Luke, he's gone after Han and he actually finishes him off to win this round. It's a really good gameplay. At number one we have Shiro and he kills 14 enemies in the whole clip using the Dioxus grenade, back to bomb and stim card. But this is the most impressive part of this clip. This clip does go on for quite a while. But this is really cool how he does this. He obviously uses the stim card to keep regenerating his health and it regenerates really quickly which allows him to go back and start killing the rebels before they can push out and obviously overpower him, kill him off his kill streak. He's still going. I think that again is the SE14C. Uh, yes it is. I can see past the stormtrooper's head because it's not as big as the Twi'lex. But you can see he's just constantly killing. He's lobbed the Dioxus grenade down there so that's why he's getting damaged when he's walking near it and then he finally dies. Thank you for all the clips this week guys they were absolutely insane and if you want to submit a clip just simply upload your clip to youtube as public or unlisted and email me the link my email address is in the description below let me know down in the comments section which clip was your favorite and make sure to smash like on this video other than that may the force be with you